What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. Now, let me first of all apologise for no video on Monday. I was moving into my new apartment so I couldn't quite upload at the time. But don't worry, we're back. Or oh, I'm back, whatever. And today, we're doing something a bit different. Let me introduce you to the world's first full drone exploration of Camelot theme park. Now this is going to be the same as all my other videos, you're still going to get a lot of history and a lot of photographs. And I've also collaborated with a photographer who you can find all of his links in the description to go and check out his other work. So, without further ado, let's get right into the video. What is going on ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this video. Now, let me first of all apologise because my voice is a little bit off. I am pretty ill at the minute. Anyways, we sent the drone off from outside of the Camelot site. The reason we didn't actually go into the site is because security is all over this site. They're like wasps, it's ridiculous. Anyways, apart from that, I've heard people in the past who said they finally got around the security and got into the place and said it just isn't worth it. First off, the first thing we're going to look at here is the Nightmare Roller Coaster. If we zoom in down here, we can see these little buildings. This is where people used to eat right next to the roller coaster. And, as you can see, that's what it used to look like. Thanks to Matt for this photography, his links are in the description, so make sure you go check out his work. And uh, yeah, so let's carry on over here. And this over here was actually a new addition to the park. This was like a, a animal park for the site where kids could go and look at animals and they weren't supposed to feed them, but I think they did anyway. As you can see, here's the entrance sign, a little donkey, uh, some rabbits. They had lots of different animals here and um, the kids could go and have a look at them. And this was the area itself. It was quite a nice little addition to the park actually. So, flying back over, we see these little pointed buildings here, all these pointed roofs. This was actually the food court where you could get Wimpy, you could get Wall's ice cream, you could get pizza, and just other general fast food. It was just a place to eat halfway through your day. So, if we fly over these trees, we can start to see this little region down here, which looks quite dirty. And the reason for that was this was actually where they used to do horse jousting and sword fights and all that sort of thing to live up to the Camelot name. So this is a bit closer up with the uh, stand where the audience would stand or sit or whatever. As you can see, this is a horse jousting. So apparently it was a very impressive show. I never actually got to Camelot myself, so I, couldn't, I can't vouch for that. But um, apparently it was a very impressive show. As you can see, they're all, all the costumes and everything are really, really good. So uh, yeah, all the sword fighting and everything, it, it looks very impressive. So this is flying over towards the entrance to the park. Now you can start to see the car park coming into shot at the top there. If we just stop for a second, and if we zoom in down here, this is actually the entrance gates to the park. As you can see, that's what it used to look like when it was a very, very busy park. This is the castle, this is the infamous castle uh, that everybody sees and knows about, and that's sort of the icon for Camelot. And uh, yeah, it's it's pretty unbelievable to to think that this park is now closed. I couldn't believe it when I heard that it had closed about a year ago. Um, that's when I heard about it, and it's. I remember hearing adverts for it and everything on the TV. And here, I just flew a bit closer to the castle just to show you what what it was actually like. I didn't want to fly the drone too low because, as I said, security was all over this park, and you will see some of their cars. Uh, I did fly it over some of their cars a bit later on. So flying back over the trees, and again, this is the jousting area, and uh, a few more buildings here. I'm not sure what they were, couldn't really find any information about them. But this is just looking over the park a bit more, so we're heading back over towards the food court, which is these pointed white roofs. There's nothing really there now. A lot of, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the rides have now gone. Um, it's only the nightmare, really, the roller coaster that's still there. As you can see, this car down here on the bottom left, that's a security car. Um, one of them, anyway. There's one over to the right of the screen now, but we will focus on that a little bit later. This building here is actually the indoor kids' play center. Uh, I think you could get snacks here as well, and um, just the general facilities, toilets, that sort of thing. As you can see, one of the kids playing in the ball pit, uh, blurred their face, obviously. 
Um, but yeah, a little flyover now, just a, a final flyover of the actual whole site. So you can see here the Nightmare Roller Coaster. The park actually opened in 1983, and it was fully operational up until late 2012. So again, the kids' play centre and the food court on the left, and you see all the paths that uh, lead to different sections of the site. The park was based on the story of Camelot, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. So it was a very historic theme park with lots of themed rides. Again there's the horse jousting site. Some of the main rides were the Nightmare Roller Coaster, the Whirlwind, the Excalibur, the Galleon. A lot of these have now gone, but the Nightmare Roller Coaster still stands to this day. So heading over back here towards the castle, the, uh, the entrance to the park. This is the first thing you would see, and now it's just, it's its really bare. As you can see from the photographs, there's creepy mannequins and everything just left. A few notable news events from the site. On October 22nd, 2001, Harry Matthews, somebody who worked at the site, was actually struck by the gauntlet, which was a roller coaster, and he was killed while he was repairing the tracks. At this point, the park did not have any written safety procedures for the staff, and therefore the park was fined £40,000. And also on the 23rd of August 2011, a 12-year-old boy fell from the Excalibur 2. This was a ride at the park. Thankfully, he survived, um, but it's still, it's a scary thing. It's a scary thing to think of. The park announced in 2012 that they would not be reopening in 2013. The owner said that this was due to the declining number of visitors that were coming to the site. In total, there was 26 attractions at the site, and it was a place that you could spend a full day. Unfortunately, I never got to go to Camelot while it was open, but I always heard about it and couldn't believe that it had closed. So this is flying back over towards from the outside into the entrance. Uh, there is actually a hotel on the right as well, which is um, pretty weird to have a hotel right next to an abandoned theme park. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, click the like button and subscribe if you are new around here, because I do make two videos every single week. Catch you later. Peace.